Hey guys, this is James. Um, today I wanted to show you something I've been working on for a couple weeks. Um, it's a vehicle uh, helicopter specifically extraction script. There are a million of these out there, but I think uh, this one actually works pretty well. It's something I wrote myself, um, but it's based on the work of others. Uh, obviously, when you're scripting ARMA, you uh, utilize other people's work as examples, and you uh, you build off of that. Uh, in the background, you'll see a UH-80 Ghost Talk. That is the extraction helicopter. Um, what I'd like to do is demonstrate to you how the extraction system works, and uh, give you an idea of uh, what you can expect should you uh, play on the server and find yourself pinned down without a vehicle and need an extraction. Uh, oftentimes, uh, I will find that my uh, insertion vehicle, uh, usually a Hunter uh, GMG or HMG, is destroyed by an RPG. Um, at that point, uh, I have obviously taken some damage, probably lost some blood, and the, uh, the enemy is uh, usually closed down on me pretty quickly. So what I need at that point is somebody to come in and eliminate the... Uh, eliminate the targets and land, pick me up, and bring me back here. Over at the right hand side of the base uh, there is a uh, infirmary. It's um, right inside there. And once the helicopter brings me back it's gonna land right where it is now. And there are quad bikes over here that uh, you can use to drive from the uh, helicopter over to the infirmary and get all patched up. So, anyway, the uh, helicopter is, like I said, a UH-80 Ghost Hawk. It's equipped with a full crew, uh, pilot, co-pilot, and two door gunners. Their experience level is elevated. Initially, I thought about matching their experience level with that of the uh, AAF experience level on the server. But then I realized that if you're calling for an extract, uh, you're probably outnumbered, and uh, it's probably a good idea to have... Uh, a little bit more experienced crew in this helicopter. So, anyway, let's get to it. I'm going to use MCC to uh, deploy myself uh, via teleport to a really bad location <laughs> and um, hopefully attract the attention of the, uh, the occupying forces and uh, then go ahead and signal for an extraction. Uh, that is done by deploying a blue smoke grenade, underbarrel smoke round, blue chem light. Um, anything blue deployable, if you throw it, it signals the uh, extract helicopter, it will come and pick you up. So let's go into MCC, and I'll give you an example of how it works. Okay, I'm going to place myself in one of my favorite locations. This uh, particular uh, active area it does contain uh, an anti-air rifleman um, with a Titan uh, AA launcher, so that should uh, that should prov provide some trouble for the uh, helicopter. We'll see if he manages to make it uh, to the ground or not, or if he's able to eliminate that target. I'm going to place myself behind these two buildings that you see here. This is normally where I will park my uh, my transport vehicle. It uh, provides cover from the uh, AO. Uh, it also allows me to uh, eliminate patrols that might be roaming up and down the, uh, the dirt road here, uh, which is what they typically do. Okay, so there's my two buildings. Now, I don't know where the patrols are, so um, I do know I can tell these zones are active. You can tell they're dark or red. Uh, these zones activate, which means uh, everybody goes on high alert whenever I come within, I believe it's 750 meters at this point. Each one of these grids is 100 meters, so uh, they activate pretty quickly. Um, this grid, for instance, is uh, a little over 400 meters away. Uh, 450 meters, and they're active as well. I'm actually kind of surprised that uh, this corner you didn't tell us is not active, but um, that's not part of the story. So, I'm going to go ahead into my inventory, 
and select a different optic, something that will show me uh, thermal signatures. And look and see if I can locate a patrol. There's one guy. It's about 173 meters. Gotta love the weapon jams. Thank you, AGM. Okay, at this point we're just going to pretend that I'm pinned down. So you'll notice I'm going to select blue smoke in the upper right hand corner. That's the current grenade type. I'm going to go ahead and toss one. And you notice the, uh, the feedback. The uh, feedback is kind of cryptic right now. Um, I may provide a little more detail. That uh, feedback is coming from the crew of the helicopter. Um, important note is that the helicopter is going to consider the LZ to be anything within a 7 meter radius of the deployed object. Uh, in other helicopter extraction scripts, it actually uses the location of the shooter. Uh, in this case, I use the location of the deployable. So I give about 3 or 4 seconds after you've deployed the, uh, the smoke grenade or whatever and then I locate the deployable. Otherwise, it's going to be right where you shot it from because as soon as you fire, it's right where you shot it from. You can hear the helicopter coming, and uh, I can just tell you ahead of time, he's gonna have trouble. So we can keep an eye on him and find a safe location here. Hey, he's definitely taking fire. I don't see him firing back yet. Okay, that's going to be here is the uh, 7.22 minigun firing, so he's clearing targets right now for me. I'm going to get behind the helicopter here and uh, give you a little more detail. Important note is that the uh, chopper will wait here until two conditions are satisfied. Either the shooter that deployed the uh, blue deployable is on board the helicopter, in which case if you have a team, it can carry six people. Um, if you have a team, you want to make sure that everybody gets on board before you do. Otherwise, the helicopter will depart as soon as you board. Um, secondly, the helicopter can be equipped with supplies and used as a uh, as a um, as a supply transport supply drop. Um, once you are 300 meters away from the helicopter, it will consider itself abandoned essentially, and it will return to base. So um, the RTB feature is kind of nice in that um, you don't want the helicopter just to land and then you can't get to it for some reason and everybody dies and you respawn and you're back at base. Meanwhile your extraction helicopter is stuck out in the AO and um, it's uh, standing there waiting for uh, the shooter to get on board. So anyway, as soon as there are no playable units uh, within, or actually it's the shooter, as soon as the shooter is not within 300 meters of the, uh, of the extract helicopter it will RTB. So let's go ahead and get on board. Switch to a first person view here so you get an idea. And we'll begin our ride back to base.
notice I automatically got booted out of the chopper. So in this case, if I needed to ride over to the infirmary, I'd simply hop on a quad bike and go for a little ride. Okay, and now you see it says healing soldier, although I'm not damaged. This does restore your health uh, to 100% as well as repair any AGM damage, uh, meaning limb damage, blood loss, etc. that you may have incurred. Um, feel free to leave the uh, quad bike where it is. Um, if it's abandoned, it will respawn every two hours. Um, as most things on the server, they do respawn when destroyed or when abandoned. Um, the limit is uh, two hours on abandoned vehicles. Destroyed vehicles respawn rather immediately. Um, so, um, a little more detail about the uh, extraction helicopter. If it's disabled or if it's destroyed, it will also respawn and it will be recruited. Uh, the extract waypoints that it had uh, in memory are, however, erased. So, if you call the extraction helicopter and you've only got one blue smoke deployable and it's destroyed trying to extract you, then you're out of luck because you can't deploy another blue uh, smoke uh, deployable. Uh, therefore, you can't signal the chopper again. Um, it's always important to carry at least a couple, just in case. But uh, more importantly, be careful where you deploy your uh, your blue smoke. Uh, try as best you can to keep it in the opposite direction of the trouble. The helicopter does take care of uh, uh, units that are giving you trouble, but the further away that you can keep it from the AO, the better, the more chance you have of it actually landing to pick you up, rather than tr circling the AO and trying to eliminate targets until it finally gets shot down. Uh, for small AOs, it's not such a problem, but if you are actually um, trying to clear an entire town, there's a good chance that there's armor running around, there's a good chance that there are multiple AA riflemen with uh, Titans that would be more than happy to take your chopper down. So anyway, that's it. Um, I'll provide details to the server in the description, and um, feel free to hop on and play. Uh, this is a Milsim server, so uh, we do run as a squad. We're not very strict. Um, anybody can lead, but um, we do like to play. Uh, we do like to play in a coordinated fashion. So um, feel free to join in. I'll list the mods required, the server address. We use Teamspeak and uh, Task Force Garrow Head Radio for communication. Um, as you can see, the uh, default frequencies are listed on the map if you happen to join the server. Here's all the information you need. It's actually on the map. So, I hope to see you in the game.